it's important that your family is on side because they will suffer the slings and arrows of the political, uh, you know, cut and thrust and back and forth. Uh, so whoever wants to stand for politics and it's a privilege anyone who says that it's a sacrifice should not enter politics being a representative of a community is first and foremost a huge privilege and you know it's a really it really is but it's also true that you've got to know that part of that is going to be having to at times defend yourself from comments which you know to be utterly false and sometimes having to have unpleasant conversations with your family who are you know far more wounded than you are for what they've heard so it is a collective um, it is a collective game and you do need your family and your friends to support you when things get tough you've just got to believe in what you're doing and and keep going and um, and obviously with a legal eye, I suppose, on <laughs> on some things. I remember having to write two legal letters to two individuals in my time when I was in politics. But um, you you're you're doing the job for a reason, and this is part of it. Those of us who have stood for election, the reason why we get into it is because we really want to serve. We also have the vanity of thinking that we are going to make a difference. I think there's there's a part of that. But you really want to better your community. You think that your ideas are better than your opponents. You think that you can implement your ideas better. But ultimately, whatever your ideas may be and however you implement them, we all want to do what is best for the community. And I think that Gibraltar is one of the luckiest places in the world because because each successive government of whatever political stripe wishes and wants desperately to outdo the former government. I think you have to listen, but really listen, to learn to listen and accept that it's OK sometimes not to have all the answers and that it's OK that you can't solve all the problems. But so long as you're you're listening, you're actively listening and you're taking note and you're passing that message on and, and discussing it with your colleagues, discussing it with the members on the bench, uh, benches opposite and show that you're authentic because we're a small place. Everybody knows each other. We're all human beings. So who are you as a human being? How are you going to relate and engage with the electorate? So not, and not that just emotional, as a politician, but no, also... No, but at an emotional and human level.